Hey everybody, Tyler here, and today we are just going over, um, so occasionally you're going to get um, some of these trim units that are really seized up, the caps are really seized up, or painted in this case, this one's got several coats of anti-fouling paint on it, um, and you're trying to get into them, there's some of them where it really helps you to just use a little bit of heat. So, some real basic first steps here, first thing we're going to do is remove our reservoir cap. may or may not have pressure behind it. First I'm gonna let, well, yeah, actually. First step, let out the manual release valve. Then you can go ahead and pull your cap here. Mm. That tastes good. So all we're doing here is hitting this thing with some heat for a very short period of time. Obviously, you want to have a fire extinguisher handy. Don't be doing this near open flame. I mean, open fuel. We're going around the outer threads on the cylinder itself. What is that that's catching? Huh. Yard debris. So we're going on the outer threads of the cylinder. We're trying to avoid the cap. That's a really good angle. Let's do this. Yeah, that'll work better. A little more that's just really not even close Without blocking the camera is a little bit of an adventure. So we're just trying to keep our wrench nice and flat here. Oh yeah, this one's pretty seized up. There we go. That one's loose. Looks like we're burning off some rando debris. let out the manual release valve and took the reservoir cap off is once you're heating all this stuff up you theoretically will have contents under pressure and you want to give any air that's in the unit and the fluid that's in the unit a place to go it makes life a little safer I should have done because this hole is really this cap is really painted up all right now since I've given it time to cool back off more heat flame for a second there. Get my three foot breaker that is 
actually from the trailer. Right, so we're just keeping our wrench nice and flat. Go ahead and start spinning. This one definitely wants to fight. There we go. Once you get them moving, keep it moving. Now, since we... Yeah, that's nice. That's good. All right, so we got our trims loose. And we might as well do our tilt. The tilt doesn't look near as bad. But let's go ahead and torch it just for the heck of it. The tilt usually on these units don't like that bad. This is a process you can use on pretty much any trim unit from Yamaha. Again, we're not trying to go super hot here. That's why I'm using MAP gas. Um, you don't need a ton of heat. The walls on these aluminum uh, housings are very thin. They react to the heat pretty fast. The other thing that reacts to that heat pretty fast is bottom paint. Um, bottom paint will, if it's nice and cold and stiff and crusty, uh, you will break a lot of pins if you got enough bottom paint on there and you're not treating it with something to loosen it up. All right, well, let's see if we can get this one to spin. This one's a little more awkward because it is not in a fixed position and boy is it warm. Okay, so let's do this. So what I'm doing with this one is I am turning the wrench in the direction that I should see least movement, okay? Um, what I don't want to do is have my lever over here to the side. This, y'all. Okay. See the green go there. Oh, yeah. All right. We're good. Break the bar I've ever owned. It's completely free. So now I got all my caps loose. And what I'm going to do at this moment in time is give this unit just a minute or so to calm down before I do anything else with it. Yeah, everything's good and loose. And that's it. That's all she wrote. She's ready to take everything apart and reseal it and do all the fancy things. So, um, again, uh, this is just a little primer on uh, use number 4,056 for your good old-fashioned map gas torch. Um, when you got units like this, I don't care whose wrench it is. I don't care what pins it is. You can easily break pins on this old crusty bottom paint stuff. You can see we got rung off bolts in this unit. Uh, it's pretty grizzled. Um, so these, yeah, they get a little bit of love with the torch before I put a wrench on them. It will make your life a lot easier when you're repairing these. So uh, hope, uh, hope that helps some. If you guys have any questions, as always, reach out to us uh, at outboardst.com and we'll help any way we can. Tyler Holland here, thank you.